That boy Webby, you seen that shit? Mm -mm. With Webby's pro, uh, DJ. Mm -mm. So Webby DJ exposed Webby for the bad business practices that he's been having, y'all. Eliza Versa, what's good? Long time no see, no speed, man. Appreciate you pulling up to the bootleg ass stool. Oh God, make sure you tap in on YouTube or Facebook, Twitter or Twitch, because I will be ending this live on IG in just a few minutes. I just tapped in so y'all know I'm live. Y'all come fornicate with me over here on why uh on YouTube, IG, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. I mean, not IG, you know what I mean. So Webby's DJ outed him for for bad business practices. And shortly after that, the DJ killed his wife and himself. <coughs> what does his wife have to do with? I have no idea. Let me let me pull up an article real quick. I have no idea. I ain't checked into it. Or nothing. I just seen some. I did see the story, but yeah, I, I didn't see the see, story. I didn't see Webby respond. So I did see that the DJ had something to say about Webby, and he did do something to himself. And I didn't see that he did did something to his wife as well. And I'm like, why? Why would you take yourself out? Why would you take your wife and yourself out after airing out bit bad business practices? Like, she did. I wouldn't think that Webby is tied to the Illuminati because he he far removed from mainstream right now. But to do what that DJ did to himself and his wife, it's like shit. What kind of um uh, punishment did he think would come from this what kind of consequences did he think he would have to pay i mean i don't really see what he could want from it because i mean he's gone at this point right that nigga do the way i don't understand it we finna get up into it though hit that like button let's see all right, let's get up into this article from the Breakfast Club, man. It says Webby's longtime DJ went off on a rant about the seasoned artist's business practices before he allegedly shot his wife and himself. Police in Powder Springs, Georgia, got a call about a shooting around noon at the home of Notorious T. That boy name is Notorious. Notorious T. Gutter Brown and Kalisha Siddons Dunn. Okay. Two bodies were found at the residence, but authorities did not immediately release their identities. According to a report, Hip Hop DX published on Thursday, police confirmed Brown killed his wife before he turned the gun on himself. Now, why would he do such a thing? What she have to do with it? As J.O. stated, I can confirm that Notorious Brown died from self-inflicted gunshot wounds after killing Kalisha Siddons Dunn. Captain J.W. Holcomb said, I am being told that he went by the name T. Gutter when performing. Just 30 minutes before police got the call, Brown made a lengthy Facebook post in which he described all the ways he hated working for Webby. Damn, DJ T. Gutter accused the accused the Savage Life rapper of not paying him for his work and also complained about doing other odd jobs without compensation. Say it ain't so. Not 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 Webby. So my bad. Bad business practices. What do we mean? Typical uh industry shit or or just not paying them? Yes, not paying him and others because the, the post I read, he said, Why you think nobody is around him? Was so I don't I guess he got a history of not paying folk, maybe. That's a good question. I mean all right, but you know Webby had them seizures and and Webby went off on a on a uh Radio host one time for kept he kept pressing him about seizures. He kept asking him about the seizures, and, and Webby told him he didn't want to speak on it. And the man kept asking him about it because he had missed some shows or allegedly missed some shows because of these seizures. And I'm like, could this be an extension of that? You know, because this was ten plus years ago when they was uh shit zoom zoom wipe me down. This was back then, and you know. When, when the money ain't coming, they always gonna have something to say. It seems like no matter who you are, whenever you know, when the roller coaster ride come down, you feel me? It's always some bullshit. 
Oh yeah. But see, as long as them motherfucking roller coaster still going, that good. They be riding. They be riding. Yeah, yeah. Say dog DJing for Webby is a living hell. <coughs> in quotes. He say, okay, so this is what he's saying. Dog, DJing for Webby is a living hell. He began. First, that nigga don't want to pay. Then that nigga don't want to see nobody around him shine. Like nobody, not even his own brother. Why y'all think everybody left from around him? I was only supposed to be his tour DJ, but I had to be a driver, a doctor, a security, a PR, a babysitter, booking agent, a referee, a counselor, a role manager, and a list of other things. But yet this nigga didn't appreciate none of it. I did all this shit with a smile on my face in front of thousands every night, but I was dying inside. Webby hasn't directly responded to the allegations in T Gutter's post. However, he did pay homage to his late DJ. Webby took to his Instagram story and posted an old photo of them together during the good times. Check out T Gutter's final message in Webby's post. Right, chill. So that's what he said. D Zam, this boy got a whoa. This boy wrote a. Damn. Should I read this? You want me to read this? Kind of long, it'd be kind of long, but maybe he disclosed some information in here. So she, I mean, he's gonna try to whiz through it. Let's see, like, hit that like button, y'all. I'm finna go in this live on IG. Make sure y'all jump on over to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Twitch. Appreciate y'all. We out. Mavericks up 21 14. So far, what's the uh, what's three the... minutes left in the first quarter? Oh, okay, okay, they still got plenty of time, plenty of time. It's real early. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, we can keep, keep that ass updated. Yeah, I'm just shaking back in from time to time. Look like Luke. Luke and Kyrie doing, doing work right now. Okay, so let me put that in the chat. You said, uh, what's the score? 23-14. Dallas up. Dallas up, 23. Boston 14 right now. For those who, uh... Want to know what the score is. All right, so let's go on ahead and jump down to where I stopped it. But yet this nigga didn't appreciate none of it. Did all that with a smile on my face. I was dying inside. All the times he had seizures. Okay, so, so he spoke on some seizures. I, I damn, hold on. So all the time he had seizures on the planes, on stages, in the hotels. Who y'all think was there? Me, because his family ain't want to deal with him. Or nobody on our team wanted to deal with him but me. I... So I'll keep jumping up in my face. Okay, our driver quit because he ain't want to pay him. Then every time we would try to make our money in other ways, he would he always found a way to stop that too. So it's like he don't want to pay, but don't want us eating nowhere else. Then the nigga want to get mad in his feelings when Boosie need us to help him. The nigga a straight hater. I can't remember how many times he's told us, or I can't remember how many times he's told me he don't want nobody blowing up off of his name. That's why he don't do features. And he don't like taking pictures with other artists or fans. Nigga think they trying to get shine off him. It was days I straight dreaded going on tour with him. The nigga complains about everything. Being around him is like having to take care of my kids. We had to remind him every day to take his medicine or to not do some stupid sh The nigga would do some stupid kitty-ish and be like, go to record me doing this. And it would... And it would never get better because his brother Derek's super unit just makes excuses for him, even though he be mad he don't pay him either. The ish on the road was so bad, our longtime manager had a stroke and all. Then the producer for Savage Life 6 had a brain aneurysm or something in that nature because he was stressed and all. Webby wanted him to produce the whole album but not pay and didn't want to do split sheets or nothing. Niggas say it's my songs. Niggas say it's my songs and I should get all the money. And yes, he has a health issue 
that causes him to have seizures, but they get 10 times worse when he snort their dope. These hell. He got to be the worst artist to DJ for. Yes, I DJ for him for 10 years, but I always, but I was always hoping it would get better. Or any or another major artist would recognize my talent, but he blocked everything. I never asked dude for shh. I came around with my own everything. That super unit ish is the beginning piece, is the biggest piece of bullshit. The ish is only designed so Derek can get paid while everybody else do the work. He promises to help artists, but never do it. It was some good times, but it was more bad times than anything. I never in my life met somebody that complained more than him. The nigga straight up miserable. These now. So, and then he offed himself. I don't see, and maybe because I ain't in the situation, but I don't see, you know, the reason for offing your, yourself and your family, your, your, your wife. Like, this crazy. I mean... I don't know, that shit sounded personal, bro. It sounded real personal, but personal enough to off yourself? Mm -hmm. Personal enough to off yourself and your wife at that. Mm -hmm. It ain't it, it ain't that personal. It's personal, but shit, that seems like some shit that I can get past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll work it out. Yeah, I, I can get past. I can cut him off. I can cut him off and treat him like he's dead. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta be dead. I can, he's gone out of my world. Dis discommunicate. But to go as far as that, that's a bit much. That's a little long stretch, that baby. Yeah, 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 yeah.